Welcome to the spoken tutorial on LibreOffice Draw, Basics of Layers and Password Encryption PDF. In this tutorial, we will learn the basics of layers. You will also learn how to protect a draw file using password encryption, export it as a PDF. Here, we are using Ubuntu Linux version 10.04 as our operating system and LibreOffice Suite version 3.3.4. Let us open the file root map. What are layers? Layers are like transparent sheets placed one on the top of another. There are three layers to every draw file. The layout layer is displayed as default. That is where we create most of our graphics. The control layer is used to store control elements such as buttons and forms. The dimension layer is used to depict dimension lines or measurement lines for complex drawings. For example, a drawing of a house must contain exact measurement on walls, position of electrical wiring and so on. Let's print three maps that show the route from house to the school. Let's call the map 1, map 2 and map 3. Map 1 shows all the landmarks in the area. In map 2, let's show all the objects except the two lake, the stadium and the commercial complex. In map 3, let's show all the objects except the park. Do we need to create three separate maps to show these? No. The draw provides a solution to this with the help of layers. This way there can be only one map file with many layers of information. We can print or view a combination of layers using one draw page. Let us add some layers to the root map. Click on layout layer. Right click and select insert layer. The insert layer dialog box appears. In the name field type layer 4. You can add any title and description that is relevant to your drawing. Check the boxes visible and printable. Click OK to exit the dialog box. Click on layout layer once again. On the draw page, select the map and ungroup it. Now let us select the lakes. Now press the shift key and select stadium and the commercial complex. Next, right click and select cut. Then click on layer 4 layer and paste them. They are pasted in the same positions as in the layout layer. Click layer 4 once again. Right click to view the context menu and select modify layer. The modify layer dialog box appears. Uncheck the box visible. Click OK. Objects in layer 4 are no longer visible. The objects are present physically but are not visible. Click Layout Layer. If the tab is not seen, then press the left arrow button till the layout layer is visible. We have our map 2. In the same manner, we can create map 3 also. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Create two routes from home to school campus. In the route map drawing, Create each root on a separate layer so that they can be printed as two different maps, each displaying only one root. Let us now learn how to export the file as a PDF and also password protect our draw file. First, let's save the draw file root map as a PDF. From the main menu, select File and click Export as PDF. The PDF dialog box appears. First, let us select the General Options. Click the General tab. Under Range, let us select All, as we are converting all the pages in the draw file to PDF. Under Images, we shall select JPG Compression. This is the most common format that is used for compression. Now, click on the Initial View tab. We will keep the default value displayed in the dialog box. Now click on the Links tab. We may have inserted links in the draw file. Again, let's keep the default value set for links. 
Now let's assign a password to protect the PDF document. To do so, click on Security tab. Click on the Set Open Password button. The Set Open Password dialog box appears. In the field Password, type any password with which you want to protect your file. I will set my password as Protect 101. In the field Confirm, I will retype my password Protect 101. Click OK. Next, let's set the permission password to print or modify the document. Click on the Set Permission Password button. In the field Password, type the password of your choice. I will type Protect Again 0. In the field Confirm, I will retype the password Protect Again 0 and click OK. Notice that permissions for printing and changes are active now. It is always a good practice to set passwords with a minimum of six characters, including numbers and special characters. Under Printing, select the option Not Permitted. The PDF can be printed only if the correct password is provided, else it cannot be printed. Under Changes, select the option Not Permitted. The password can be edited only if the correct password is provided else it cannot be modified. Now, let us click the export button at the bottom. The export dialog box appears. From the left panel under places, click on the location where you want to save the, your file. I will choose desktop. Under file type, click PDF portable document format and click on the save button. The draw file is converted to a PDF file and saved on the desktop. Let us switch to the desktop now. On the desktop, double click on the root map PDF file. The enter password dialog box opens. In the password field, let's type the wrong password protect 111. Click on unlock document button. You will notice that the password field is cleared and we are prompted to enter the password once again. In the password field, let's type the correct password, PROTECT101. Click on the Unlock Document button. The PDF file opens. We have converted our draw file into PDF and successfully password protected it. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Here we have learned the basics of layers, how to convert a draw file into a PDF, how to protect it using a password encryption. Here is an assignment for you. Create another PDF of the root map file. In the PDF dialog box, change initial view options. Observe what happens. Check all the options for user interface. Set permission passwords. Print this PDF. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial project team conducts workshop using Spoken Tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.